Hi there, it's Church the Cigar. Welcome back for another cigarette review. And yeah, as you can guess, I'm shooting these reviews back to back. And the review of today is going to be an African. Yeah, uh, it means African women, African, the female of African. Um, this is quite an old brand. Uh, at least it dates back at least from the 1940s. At least um, it's still made by the same company, which is um, raw enough to be mentioned in the in the videos. Uh, not filter obviously at the time, but they came like in a type of pink packet. Um, yeah. Anyway, then they introduced the filter version, which is now the only version of that cigarette uh, still being made. Uh, these cigarettes are made by Hans van Landebeek, so a Luxembourgish company, actually it's one of the very last independent companies in in Europe and no, I'm not gonna say in the world because in the world firstly you get Chinese tobacco monopoly cigarettes and stuff like that and in India you get ITC which is the department of uh, uh, blah, blah, blah. Imperial, Imperial Tobacco, well, you got a whole bunch of companies, but yeah, a lot of them still, Philip Morris, Philip Morris International, RJ Reynolds for the United States, Japan Imperial, Japan International Tobacco Company, uh, yeah, Imperial Tobacco, all those big names, so still made by the the, the same company, Hans van Landewijk, Luxembourg, since 1847, it says that in French, right here, right here, Hans van Landewijk, Luxembourg, um, depuis 1847, since 1847, 25 filter cigarettes in the packet, um, the current price on, of these is 5 euros 70, um, uh, what else can be mentioned, you can see here, there's a lion and then like um, stuff I can't remember the name. Stuff you get on the sea to, you know, to, you know, to give uh, indications to to sailors. Uh, I'll put the name of that. Yeah, uh, yeah, it looks pretty nice. I don't know if you can see. Yeah, like yeah, probably like a little lion and or lion or whatever. It's, yeah, it looks like a lion. The back, uh, which is the same as the front, except that 40% uh, warning, 30% warning on front. Well, all in all, looks looks rather nice. It's very kind of vintage looking pack. Uh, the packaging they haven't done. <coughs> Shit, flaked tobacco <coughs> all the way, <coughs> all over myself. Go away. Okay. Uh, tar is 10 milligrams, nicotine is 0.8 milligrams, and carbon dioxide 10 milligrams, which is uh, pretty standard, pretty you know, pretty common for European cigarettes, since we have those fucking limits on TNCO. Uh, 25 filter cigarettes, 25 filter cigarettes, so all in all 50. No, only 25. Ah, would have been good for that price. Uh, 5 euros 70 at the moment. Uh, the first complaint I have on that brand, it doesn't come in a cellophane wrapper. So this means it sits like that in the shop. And I don't like that because cellophane, well actually it's not cellophane anymore, but it's like a polyethylene uh, type wrap around it, a plastic film. Um, around the packet, it's gonna keep it nice nice and fresh from the factory factory seal, whatever it's also a protection from yeah, dirt, anything no, I don't want the guy on the, the corner to touch my cigarette actually um, well, uh, anyway oh, forgot the bottom African filter African filter why the name African? well, I guess my guess is that because it's made out of Maryland, <laughs> shit, backward. <laughs> I wish I was in Dixie. Oh shit! I can't, I can't sing that song. It's private. Come here. Obviously, it's a soft bag. If you didn't notice. 
Now, the little cigarettes. 71 millimeters have measured it. So it's called regular length. It's slightly uh, bigger, slightly wider gauge than the king size cigarettes you have, like the Marlboros. So it's about 9 millimeters. But, you know, it should be round, nice and cylindrical, but obviously being in the soft pack, you know, some of the cigarettes are almost square like. Uh, anyway, so. So a small a, a small filter and a small tipping paper. Oh, I guess it's the same dimension as if it were like a king size. So uh, the percentage the percentage of the filter on the whole on the whole length is probably about the same as on a king size cigarette. It says, well, is it? It's blue. On blue here, it says African filter, African filter, African filter. Just as it says on here, precisely, except that the, the, the word filled is just a little to the side, so that you know everything about that cigarette. <sighs> Smells good. Smells good. Can't really describe uh, anything more sweet than usual, or anything special. Just, yeah, it's a. Smells like tobacco. Which is a nice smell, in my opinion. Yeah, uh, nice. Smells a little like an additive free cigarette. And by that, I mean it doesn't smell of caramel, it doesn't smell of chocolate, it doesn't smell of honey, it doesn't, doesn't it? It's kind of smell of tobacco. Actually, you can't see anything much bad. It's got two lines of very, very, very tiny perforations right just before my index here. So. And I say before, obviously it's that way, not that way. Well, well, uh, well, nice medium colored brown tobacco blend. Let's get finer. Mm, that's a little big for a flame. And it's a small flame I can get. Right, maybe. Can even get a, bit, a bigger one. Oh shit. This has gone. With that light, I'm going to run out of gas pretty quickly. Is it refillable? Made in France! One of the last objects to be made in France! Uh, yeah, I don't know if it's refillable. I guess so. It looks like it is, but could be wrong. So, oh, sorry, <laughs> forgetting my cigarette. And it, they burn kind of fast, and that might be because the tobacco is a little drier. <laughs> Then uh, let's say you pack a freshly opened <laughs> tobacco, a freshly opened packet of Marlboro Reds, for example. Also, if you want a really fresh cigarette, buy them by the carton. I can assure you it's a whole different experience. Tastes even better, especially Marlboro from directly from the carton open. Yeah, it's great. Oh, kind of smooth, actually. Kind of smooth. Oh, right. one other thing I wanted to tell you is that hopefully I can talk with a cigarette in my mouth like all people did. Is these are twin, the twin of these. A free filter, I've done a review on them, I will link it down below. A free, a free can. Afri, African, African, Afri, you get uh, the back of this. This is a brand I'm buying in Germany. It's made by the same company and uh, in the same place, probably even in the same factory. And I've done um, what uh, Driver Op 73 calls a smoke off is that I've smoked both and they taste different. Actually, even though like 10 milligrams tar, 0.8 milligrams nicotine, and 10 milligrams carbon dioxide, if you give me a second, I will show you the older pack. Um, it's one of the the only pack uh, pack design changes that is successful, because 
the new packet of Marlboro is just totally awful. Uh, the new packet of Camel, mm, I can always say the best looking packet of Camel is Camel not for some. And actually, what the difference between the two, it's not much in the taste. A little though. But, um, this to me tastes like a regular cigarette, like I would say, um, give me an example soon. Anything like Marlboro, Lucky Strike, something like that, but a little milder. Making love to a gitan. And this would be would be the result. This is nice because it comes in a cellophane wrapper. Hope you can see you see. I always reflect it. I can you know can sort of Yeah, you can see? Now you have the proof. Afri war schon immer Antifri. Seit in den 20er Jahren ist Afri Begriff für traditionellen Tabakgeschmack. 100 Prozent, 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 Prozent. Tabak ohne Zusatzstoffe. Additive free. So they are both, I guess, this also is kind of an additive free cigarette without being one, is that it's not advertised as being additive free, but if they don't add anything to the blend, um, maybe, maybe, I say that at the maybe, at the maybe, uh, maybe they add some sort of preservatives. And uh, not the one, <laughs> the back again. <laughs> not the kind you put on your, on your willy, uh, on your John Thomas, but the kind of, uh, preservative like uh, glycerin, uh, propylene glycol, 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 glycerin, glycerin. I can't remember how you say it. Back to the cigarette. I like it. I like both of them. Um, you know, uh, the other one being sold in Germany currently it's six euros ten for twenty-five, and the Luxembourgish African and not Afri is um, 570 so it's not a big price different price difference uh, especially now they're gonna rise the VAT the sale tax if you like if you're in the US and don't know what valuated tax mean uh, I'm not saying you're dumb and you know all Americans are dumb I'm not saying that at all but uh, yeah sale, sales tax are gonna go up from 15 percent which is I think, I'm pretty sure, it's the lowest of all the European Union. In Belgium, for example, it's 21%. So only that could explain a little difference in price from the two countries. Uh, a packet of Marlboro currently in Luxembourg is like 5 euros for 20, where in Belgium it's 5 euros 50 for 19. So if you had the price of one cigarette, 5 euros 79. So in Luxembourg, it's seven euros and ninety-three cents. Yeah, because obviously, you know, five fifty divided by my nineteen is like uh, uh no, it's like uh, five euros seventy-eight and stuff. Uh, so five seventy-nine rounded. So seven euros ninety, which is a nice difference. That's why I'm buying my cigarettes in Luxembourg. Fuck Belgian government. And fuck all government that is higher priced than another. Mind you, the Luxembourgish, uh, the Luxembourg gets um, about 500 million euros a year in tobacco tax. In Belgium, they get 2.5, so about five times more uh, in Belgium. But the country in Belgium is 11 million. Inhabitants, and in Luxembourg, it's about 500,000. <laughs> you can guess anything not heavier smoke than us. It's just that all the French people in the north, you know, France completely silly. Nowadays, it's just rubbish in France. Seven euros a packet of Marlboro. Well, obviously, and in 10 years, probably, it's going to be like 12 euros. And then we're going to say, oh, the good old time when it was only seven euros a packet. Yeah. Probably could be. Not very harsh. It's good tasting. It's like plain, strong, unsweetened tobacco. It's not as rough as the Gitans, which tastes pretty much like a small cigarette. 
And um, getting on here, it's, it's almost burning my lips because the filter's shorter. Okay, last drag. Man, they taste great. Uh, the on the last two drags, three drags, the tipping paper is coming away quite a bit from the filter, but uh, you have the choice between um, a paper that doesn't come a lot of the the filter, but then it's in this case it's going to be a very stiff filter, like uh, probably on a light or super light cigarette, it's not going to come away nearly as much, but it also comes away from the filter. Uh, but then you're gonna get a light cigarette. So, I can't remember how much I gave these ones. I think I gave them 10 out of 10. These are, are a little harsher. They're a little harsher. They have like a, a, a hint of cigarillo, cigar type, you know, kick in the, in the blend. Not quite, not as rough as Gitanza. As I said, I got two cigarettes, but they're like this way and not this way they should be because you know the packet being the cigarettes normally you like that and they are right horizontal horizontal shit you, your eyes is fucking pain in the ass anyway i'm gonna give this cigarettes eight and a half if i gave the other one i think nine and a half or something like that for the price you know my biggest complaint yeah no i'm gonna go eight out of ten because no cellophane on the fucking, you know, it does, what does it cost to put, like, cellophane wrap off plastic film? It's not cellophane, it's polyethylene plastic film. Okay, but back in the days it was cellophane, so we all called them cellophane. How much does it cost to put a cellophane wrapper around that fucking packet? That would make the, 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 the packet very, 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 very much better. So that was it for this review. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, thanks again for the 302 subscribers. As I'm talking now at least, sometimes you know I lose one and then again I get three more. And, you know, the channels close some, from time to time and then oh the start's coming again with my hands. Anyway, an apple dig into the doctor way, as long as you aim well. And thanks for coming up to here on 17 minutes and 37 seconds.